Hello and welcome to another video of the top three pen series of Oppelbaum. In this series, we ask pen influencers like Alex here <laughs> their personal top three pens. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, make sure to do that right now so you won't miss out on a video anymore. In this episode, we have a special uh, person who's going to tell about his top three pens because it's Alex and Alex is the workshop manager of Yardolet. We're also recording this in the factory or the workshop of Yardolet in Birmingham in the United Kingdom. So Alex, can you tell us a little bit more about your top, top three pens? I can, I can. Yeah, no, it's an absolute pleasure to be able to show you my top three pens. And, and I think we start off this lovely box. We'll open it up mm -hmm. and see what we got here. We have a Corinthian. Wow. Now, this is a Corinthian and this is a rollable. It mm -hmm. also came in fountain pen. Mm -hmm. uh, but why it's my fa one of my favorite pens is, of course, we no longer make this pen. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, I just love the shape. And the story behind it is basically uh, a gentleman called Gordon who started along with Dennis, as I mentioned previously. Mm -hmm. And Gordon's job was to come up with new designs. Mm -hmm. And this was one of them that was inspired by a spanner head. Okay. <laughs> he just sat there one day and it caught his eye. And that's where the fluting came from. Yeah. What he did was he, he, he picked up a spanner and he forced some silver tube through there to see what kind of shape it produced. Yeah. And he thought, actually, I kind of, that, that works. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he liked the feel. And of course, a bit of development later, uh, the, the Corinthian was born. Mm -hmm. um, but it just has that kind of, the fluted feel. It feels good in the hands. Mm -hmm. um, it's massive. It is massive. It's a, it's a, again, it's another imposing, imposing pen mm -hmm. that, um, you know, the head is also solid silver mm -hmm. and uh, it's turned. So we, we actually shape the head. Yeah. And again, we shape the center. And these techniques of actually shaping the silver parts is, is of course, is very, very difficult. Mm -hmm. And- um, Is that also the reason that it's no longer made? It's, yeah, yeah. Those yeah. are the reasons why it's no longer made is because of course, the difficulty and the time it takes to produce these, yeah. um, it just became, you know, the price would reflect the sheer amount of time it would take to produce every mm -hmm. single one of these. <clears throat> so, and you just don't see them very often now. And, um, you know, we, we have repairs in from all over the world and, mm -hmm. um, you know, very rarely do we, we say we see these. And so, you know, learning how it came about from, from Dennis and also that, you know, Gordon is no longer with us. Mm -hmm. It just makes that even more special to us. Yeah. And, um, and I think that's kind of the whole ethos and, and history behind the island is, is a family. And of course, you know, we lose family, and, mm -hmm. but they are still with us. And yeah. they are still with us in, in the products that they, they made, mm -hmm. uh, whether how successful they were or, or not successful. It's just knowing that somebody one day, you know, was just being creative and, and came up with something like, like this. And, um, you know, it's, it's a beautiful pen. And, um, you know, I know the techniques that, that went into this. So I know mm -hmm. how hard these are to produce. Yeah. So, you know, it's um, a, a great pen, uh, a, you know, kind of getting rarer to find now, but, um, that one will stay with us mm -hmm. and continue to stay with us. And um, so will, you know, the memory of, of Gordon and, and mm -hmm. what he brought to, um, to, to the company. Yeah. So well, that's my, that's, that's, that's my great. first one. Yeah. That's my first one. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> oh, of course, the hallmarks as well. Hallmarks around the top as well. So oh, dis yeah. display hallmarks. So that's, yeah, it was a nice little, nice little thing. So I'll put that back in that mm -hmm. box there. My second one. Mm -hmm. In the blue box, <laughs> we will find the Deco 34. Mm -hmm. There we go. The square one. The square one. And again, the history behind this, again, was, was kind of similar to the birth of the, the Corinthian, is 
you know, shaping the barrel, you know, it, it's, we have the diplomat uh, and it was nice to, and we shape every single one ourselves, the same as, as, as the Corinthian, mm -hmm. the Deco 34, the 33 as well, the triangular. Um, I just like this. Uh, I know the story behind it, how difficult this pen was to make, mm -hmm. but they still persisted and still come, you know. What was the difficulty behind it? It's the difficulty behind it, of course, with the pencil, you could set the top evenly. Yeah. With the ball pen mechanism, it will only set, it will only push the mechanism, push either the reefer out or in. Mm -hmm. So when it's out, the top does not fit flush on. Yeah. That's a problem for people. <laughs> that was, yeah, a, pro yeah, that yeah. was a problem for people. Yeah. People with kind of OCD issues. Yeah, 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 you yeah. would look at that and go, you know, yeah. that's an issue. That's, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's an issue. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that, when it's back in, it's square on. Yeah. But when it's out, then it's off, yeah. off center. Now you can either live with that or you can't. <laughs> and I don't know how many people could live with that, yeah. uh, but, you know, it's kind of, especially when you're holding it, you, of course, you would notice it even more, mm -hmm. more so. So it became a little bit more of a difficult pen to sell and people kind of didn't overly take to it as much. Mm -hmm. But I know that the shaping and everything else and the barley pattern on there just, you know, it does look, it looks great. Mm -hmm. It looks great and it fits nicely in, in the hand. I, I, I always kind of, a square or a shaped barrel always kind of fits nicely in the hand. Yeah. And I always found that this always did. And I always liked it. It's an interesting, it's an interesting piece. Again, mm -hmm. very much The liked. shape is very interesting. It there is. Not that many uh, no. square shaped. That's right. right. That's right. And so, you know, it's always an interesting piece. And the decos always do catch my eye. And that's why we've always kind of, at some point, would like to go back to looking at that again. Mm -hmm. And whether or not we will, I don't know. But it's... One thing that I will kind of look at is is making sure the mechanism maybe when it opens and closes it still stays all square. Mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. <laughs> that would be my challenge. That would be great. That, that would be, be my great challenge. If you could but have like that extra yeah, turn to, yeah, to make it, it just, even again. Yeah, and that's it. It just needs a little bit more. And whether we can do that or not, we'd yeah. have to kind of redesign the mechanism. But of course, there's always a challenge with everything. And yeah. um, you know, you either you embrace that challenge and see what you can do, or, or you don't really. But um, the ball pen was always a problem, but the pencil wasn't because, of course, you just set it at mm -hmm. length and its level, yeah. and uh, you know, even. But yeah, that that being off was yeah. kind of yeah. I can imagine that. You can imagine yeah, that. I can you? imagine yeah, that. Yeah, you could. That would be a problem for people. So, <laughs> but other than that, it's a it's a super pen, mm -hmm. and um, I always like looking at this one. It's, it's yeah. another another favorite. I like uh, it. I put that away. I put that away, and next one. Uh, so yeah, so we, we, we mentioned the Queen, of course, and mm -hmm. um, you know it's we came up with uh, the XC ninety, which was for her ninetieth birthday, and we released these models, mm -hmm. and this was based on the ambassador, so the ambassador shape. Mm -hmm. So it's got the ambassador nose, it's the ambassador tube. But what we did and what I did was my one of my first jobs when I started was mm -hmm. to come up with a different pattern and design. Oh, nice. And this was mine. And so okay. this was mine. Yeah, this is, well, this is the first one here that I did here. Mm -hmm. um, and the way I, how I placed the barley, again, uh, I used negative and positive spaces. So I, I kind of banded it yeah. through the piece. And the same I did with the, the chasing. I kind of separated and banded it again. Mm -hmm. And uh, as you can see there, some of my early, earlier chasing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a lot better now. Yeah? But this, okay. yeah, but at the time, yeah, you know, I'm, lear I'm learning. Okay. Um, but yeah, it was, uh, but yeah, this was one of my first, first ones. Yeah. And um, we did, uh, and everyone came with a little card and it had my signature in there. Mm -hmm. And this was, this is probably, I picked this out as a bit of a vanity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is one of my first ones that I'm proud of. Yes, of course. And so, you know, I stand by what I did and mm -hmm. we sold a, a fair amount of pens and pencils. So I was, I was proud of that. I was proud to help Yard Led, you know, sell more products and also proud that I was allowed to kind of 
be involved. And as a new starter, I think I'd only been there about a year, possibly maybe two. So I was still quite new. Yeah. yeah. Um, so to be allowed the freedom to, to do that. Yeah, that's amazing. And to have, you know, my picture in the box and my signature <laughs> and the clip number would be written in, on the box. Um, so, yeah, it was yeah, it was a proud moment, proud yeah, moment for me. I can and, imagine. And, and always will be a proud moment. Mm. And um, I've got the car I've got one of the cards at home and my mom yeah, yeah. my mother and father have got one of my cards <laughs> and so you know it was um it was a pro moment so this yeah. this is a, a vanity pick but also because this is one of the first pens I made of course yeah, yeah. so that's why I went with this and um you know it was the old style clip as well even, even the font has changed you see oh yeah, yeah so yeah a bit more the scroll is still the same but we haven't got the lines and of course we've, mm -hmm. we've changed the font to a much cleaner font mm -hmm. and a much stronger, of course, a much stronger clip, which um, that I recommended we, we have a go at doing. And I thought, well, yeah. a stronger clip for jackets and stuff. And much mm -hmm. as I, I did like that, I think, I think that the current clip now with a nice clean font uh, and a stronger clip than, than ever before, mm -hmm. uh, much stronger, thicker. Um, I think that we've, improved on our product mm -hmm. and um you know these kind of little tweaks that that i noticed when i came in and now as is on all the pens now um has, has certainly improved the product yeah. improved what we do and um you know there's, there's there's lots of those kind of little things that over the last 10 years that that i'm proud to have introduced mm -hmm. into it and then the next Workshop manager can take over and they can introduce yeah, what, that, you know. And so Dennis did it and now I've, I'm doing it now and hopefully continue to do so. Yeah. And if I can make him proud and make, you know, Emma proud and the, the company proud, then, then I, you know, I'm, I'm doing my job. Yeah. So, yeah, so a vanity pick on this, but I think I'm allowed oh, that one. Just Amazing. A, just, a, just a one, but there's four of them. <laughs> thank you so much for your uh, top three pants, Alex. No, no problem. Everybody's watching. Uh, thank you so much for watching the video. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And next week, we have another top three pants. Bye-bye.